Uh, Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Kakadash, double honors to the elder, apostle, the great millstone, citation, you all can teach all truth and sincerity. I slack you. Um, uh, I'm going to go back to Isaiah 14. Um, this uh, video is going to be called A Heathen Shall Be a Slave in the Kingdom. Um, so I'm going to start this off in Isaiah uh, chapter 14 verse 1. It says, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and uh, set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. <clears throat> and um, Yahweh Bashim Yashai will have mercy on Jacob, which is the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. Uh, uh, of the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, he's going to have mercy on his people. And um, will set them back in their own land, which is the land of Israel. And the strangers that shall be joined with them are those. The Israelites that are scattered across the globe. They look like uh, the heathen, and um, they they will cleave back to the house of Jacob. They'll cleave back to their heritage, and will come and serve Yahweh Bashan Yahshai, and um, you know put these heathens in captivity. You know, um, like it says in verse two, it says the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them. In the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they, uh, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're gonna take these heathen captives, and um, make them our servants and our handmaids, because it says in Daniel, seven and eighteen, it says the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, and shall possess the kingdom forever and ever. So we're not going to ask for the kingdom; we're gonna take it. And make you heathens, our servants, and our handmaids, you know. And we're going to rule over you uh, with a rod of iron. And break you into itty bitty pieces. You know, um, I'm going to go to Revelations 2. 2 and, um, two and uh, 26. This is Revelations 2. And 26, it says, He, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he, uh, he shall uh, break slaki. Uh, so, if we endure to the end and um, keep the works and continue doing the work of Yahweh Yahshai and keep the uh, the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability, and we endure this these trials, tribulations to the very end. We will be given power to rule over these nations and break them. Uh, it says in verse twenty-seven, "He shall rule over them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received my father." So we're gonna be, um, you know, we're gonna receive the same. Uh, inheritance that Yahweh Shah receives because we're joint heirs with him. Whatever he receives, we're going to receive. So, um, and what he's going to receive most of all is power to rule over you nations and to put you in subjection and break you into itty bitty pieces. And the if we're if we're part of that hopeful elect, we're going to receive the same thing and uh, <clears throat> be able to. Uh, rule over you nations with a, as with a rod of iron and break you, and break you into itty bitty pieces, break you into subjection under us, you know. Um, <clears throat> uh, I read. I'm going go to uh, Psalms, Psalms, uh, Psalms two and eight. This is Psalms two and eight it says, "Ask of me, and I I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance." And the most parts of the earth for, for thy possession. 
And these heathens are part of our inheritance. Uh, uh, they're part of our um, us. Uh, part of us possessing them is a part of what we are uh, basically looking forward to, ruling over over the earth. Also, to possess because the, the earth is ours. Uh, it says the meek shall inherit the earth. The earth is our 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 our. Uh, a part of our inheritance also us ruling over on the earth but also you heathens going in captivity that's a part of our 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 inheritance you know um verse 9 says thou shalt break them with a rod of iron thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel it says verse 10 be wise now therefore O ye kings be instructed ye judges of the earth because we're the true judges of the earth, the 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 the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, uh, the elective nation of Israel are the true judges of the earth. You know, um, you know, because it says the righteous. It says in Proverbs twenty nine and two, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You know, when we're in authority, when Israel is in the in the their right mind staying ruling on the earth there's complete peace but when, while the wicked are in rulership there's mourning and, and sadness and people are dying the earth is in complete um distress you know that's why the earth needs new management and that's why um once we get in power all these heathens are going to love us they're going to love us they're going to uh enjoy the the way the earth is going to be you know they're going to enjoy the clean water and good food and you know the air's the air is smelling good the animals are at peace the the trees are at peace the the water's clean you know every, you know everything's going to be in in great balance you know when we're in rulership but uh anyway um I'm going to go to uh Isaiah I'm going to go to Isaiah uh 60 and verse 10 it's Isaiah 60 verse 10 it says and the sons a stranger shall build of thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smoke thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. And <clears throat> the Most High is going to uh, make these heathens build up our walls. These heathens are going to build up our walls um, when they're in captivity. We're not going to um, lift a finger to build up our kingdom. They're going to build up our kingdoms. They're going to... Um, bring us all their resources, you know, um, and the most high is going to show us favor because, um, we're going to have the law, statute, and amendments written in us and we're going to receive the blessings and we're not going to receive the curses. The heathens are going to receive the curses and the, the, us, us being on top, we're going to receive all the blessings. Um, verse 11 says, therefore thy gates shall be open continually and they shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. And they're going to bring us all their resources. Uh, the Most High is going to put us, we're going to be in the spirit of, we're going to have our gates always open. Because all these people, all these heathens are going to bring all their goodly, um, their goodly treasures uh, that they had stored up. They're going to bring us all that stuff that they took from us, and all that stuff that they have in their lands. They're going to bring it straight to us. And we're going to get the um, the best of 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 all their wine, the best of all their uh, clothes. Well, the best of the best of the best. Anything that they any gift that they want to offer us, we're going to get the best of it, you know, because um, all that stuff basically belongs to us anyway. Anything that they have in there, um, they have stored up belongs to us. Um, it says uh, verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, uh, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So the, any kingdom that doesn't want to serve us uh, shall be destroyed. You know, like it says in Luke 19, 27, um, those that my enemies that would not have me rule over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. I basically butchered that scripture, but... Yahweh Shah was saying, if you don't want to serve him, you're going to get slayed. And that's what's going to happen to those that don't want to um, come under the banner under the Israelites. They're going to get destroyed, you know, basically. Uh, verse 13 says, 
the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, um, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of the, my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The Most High is going to make this earth a a a, a glorious paradise again. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to be the same. The earth is going to be bigger, and it's going to be um every, everything is going to be beautiful, beautified because this earth is right now it's um in distress. It needs new management, and um. As soon as uh, the missiles drop on this place and this earth rocks to and fro, this earth is going to be um, totally different, you know. Um, uh, it says verse 14, it says, The sons also of them that afflict thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy feet, and they shall call thee the, the city of Yahweh. The Zion of the Holy One of Israel. And this place is going to, uh, we're not going to be uh, basically despised um, anymore. Like it says, I shall give you praise and every fame. I shall give you praise and fame in every land you were put to shame. These these nations are going to be be humbled and uh, bowing at our feet and licking, licking our, our boots. Um because as we walk, because um, they're going to be uh, in total subjection to us. And uh, we're going to uh, basically be uh, a monument, uh, a glorious monument uh, to them, you know, because they're going to praise Yahweh Bashi you know, Shai through us. Because we're going to be the Lord, Yahweh Bashi you know, Shai is going to be glorified through us, you know. Um, this is, uh, I'm going verse 15. It says, whereas thou has been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee, I will make thee eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Because, um, these people, we're not going to be, um, like it says in Isaiah 62, we're not going to be forsaken. We're not going to be despised. Uh, we, we shall be a royal diadem and that we shall be, uh, Cause they're gonna come up to 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 learn the ways of Yahweh and Yahshai from us, you know. They're gonna um, uh, you know, glorify and praise the Lord through us, you know. Uh, it says verse sixteen, Thou shalt also suck the milk of, of the Gentiles, and thou sh and, and shalt suck the milk breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One, the Jacob. And we're going to, um, you know, take all, get all their resources, all the gold, all the um, all riches that they acquired is going to all come to us. And um, I'm going to read uh, Isaiah 61 and verse 6. It says, but ye shall be named the, the priest of Yahweh. Men shall call ye the ministers of our power. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. And we're going to um, basically talk shit to them. And um, we're going to talk shit to them. And, um, you know, ha while we have their um, their riches in our hands, and we're going to uh, boast ourselves in, uh, while we have their... Uh, their substance and uh it says for your shame you shall have double and for confusion they shall uh, rejoice in their portion therefore in their lands they shall possess double and everlasting joy shall be unto them and we we're going to possess their possessions because all those things that they got um is ours anyway you know um i'm gonna read uh last one i'm gonna read is um Psalms, Psalms 49, this is Psalms 49 and verse 22, it says, Thus saith Yahweh power, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, arms, and their, thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. And their queens, thy mercy mothers, 
and they shall bow to thee with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed away from me. And <clears throat> they, they're going to bring us, they're going to uh, bring us to the land of Israel and uh, carry us. Um, and they're going to carry their sons and daughters to us. Um, and they're going to, um, we're going to, uh, what's the word? Uh, they're going to, um, bow in subjection to us and we're going to, um, take all their resources like, and, uh, they're going to lick up the dust of our feet. Um, it says, um, and we're not going to be ashamed. That wait on your how about Shin Yao Shai. Uh, I'm gonna say all praise and all glory to your how about Shin Yao Shai, about Shim Kakadash, double homage to the elder apostle, great millstone, and citation I can teach all truth sincerity. Shalom.